Hey YouTube, are you ready for a badass flashlight review? If so, you're definitely going to want to watch this video because not only is this a flashlight, but it's a portable power bank. That's right, you can charge your phone with this flashlight. So you definitely want to stay tuned and watch this video because this is the baddest flashlight I've ever seen. So stay tuned. All right, I know a lot of you guys out there uh, are just like me and have a ton of flashlights. And, uh, you know, I just ran through the house and grabbed uh, as many flashlights that I could find in like 10 minutes. And so this is what I come up with. And this is not all of them. <laughs> I have a bunch more. I've got some mag lights somewhere and some uh, stream lights somewhere. And so, you know, I, I've got a bunch of different flashlights and I've tried a bunch of the different brands and all that. And the thing is, is, you know, with the little flashlights, you know, when you go to use them, the battery's always dead and then you're running trying to find batteries and then, you know, if you're out of batteries, then that's a trip to the store and it's just a pain in the butt. And then, you know, when you get to the store, the batteries cost you an arm and a leg for the good ones. You know what I'm talking about, the Energizers, Duracells and all that. And then, you know, eventually, you know, they go bad and then you're stuck buying more batteries and it's just a hassle. And then, you know, you get over here to the rechargeable uh, flashlights, you know, and they're all fine and dandy until, you know, you're out somewhere and, you know, you have a battery that goes dead. And if you don't have a charger with you, then you're stuck. And that's where uh, this uh, Redline Blast RC comes into play because it's got everything built into it. I mean, it's, you don't really need a charger. It doesn't really hook to a charger. It just, uh, it has a little charging port right here on the back where you hook in your uh your usb and you uh, micro usb cables but uh there's no actual charger that this thing sits on so that is a, a really big advantage and uh, i'm gonna take you outside in here in just a few minutes and show you just what this thing will do and but uh, i'm gonna run through some of the features and uh, so stick around because you're definitely going to want to see this thing perform all right, guys. Now, first things first, it comes with a regular USB cable and that adapts to a micro USB. So you can take and plug this into a computer or into a power bank or just whatever, you know, that has a USB uh, port uh, that you can plug this into to get power to charge your flashlight. Or you, if you wanted to uh, plug this in, uh, to the flashlight and use the micro USB to charge your phone you can or you can take and uh, You know just a regular uh, phone charger. I have a, a, a Galaxy S8 and it uses um, a, a USB to a type C Charger so what you would do is just get you a, a, a USB to C cable and just plug it in right there in that that big USB port and you can charge your phone and so uh, they've made it really easy and really adaptable to, to charge all different types of phones. You just need the, the exact cable. But uh, I'm going to jump in and, and just tell you some more of the other features. This uh, flashlight retails for $79.99. And uh, again, I think uh, for that price, it's a, it's a great flashlight and a great power bank. And uh, I don't think you'll be able to find anyone that... that able to put out 3200 lumens of light plus you know um you know this thing's rechargeable it's impact resistant it's made out of um anodized aluminum and so the finish will always look good on it um this thing on high like i said puts out 3200 lumens for up to two hours and it'll shine for up to 856 feet so that is a long ways I mean, you imagine 856 feet. That, that's a, that's that's impressive. Uh, even on medium, it puts out 320 lumens for four and a half hours, and it'll shine up to 269 feet. And on low, it puts out 32 lumens. But get this, it runs for 50 hours on a single charge, and it it can shine up to 85 feet on that on low. But it also has a feature and. Uh, I know some of you are going to say, well, uh, this feature ain't no good. And uh, and what that is, is it has a variable strobe feature. And even on the variable strobe, it lasts for three hours and puts out 3,200 lumens. 
And a lot of people, you know, on the flashlight forums and things like that, they're like, uh, there's no use for, you know, a strobe feature. Nah, there really is. Um, a lot of people use it to uh, do signaling and, and uh, things like that. You know, if you if there was an accident and, you know, um, it's in a corner or like in a, a curve or something, then you would definitely want somebody out there with a, uh, a strobe flashlight to slow cars down you know so um you know it does have its purpose or if you know somebody was after you you could you could disorient them by shining that strobe uh, feature in their face you know if somebody was trying to hurt you or something and so you know it does have its place you know that strobe feature would come in handy and uh, also it has a uh, four times zoom and the way that you do that is you just twist in and out this piece right here and it turns separate from the barrel here and I'll try to show you how to how to do that all right I have the uh, flashlight totally uh, retracted in and so it's uh, it measures nine and a half inches long but then when you uh, unzoom it here and extend it then it measures a little over like 10 inches so there it is totally totally extended it's not a very long flashlight, but uh, I'll go ahead and tell you it's very powerful. Uh, the first thing that I noticed when I picked this flashlight up is it has a great feel in your hand. Um, for me, the mag lights were always too big around. It just felt awkward holding them, uh, especially the... The, the ones that I'm talking about are the, the ones with the D-sized batteries in them. They just always felt too too thick. And uh, with this one here, it's a little over an inch thick. And so it fits in your hand really, really nice. The flashlight comes with a, a built-in lanyard. So you can wrap it around your hand or you can use it to hang it up. And, uh, you know, um, also uh, the flashlight uses... Uh, two of the 18650 rechargeable batteries and if you know of anything about uh, those batteries you can look on uh, Amazon or eBay or just all over they're all over the internet and you can get them really reasonable I mean I just did a, a search on Google a while ago and I seen some on there for like 10 bucks and you know it wasn't just one or two there was a bunch on there uh, for like 10 10 15 dollars so you can buy batteries for for this flashlight really uh cheap and so they're lithium ion and they last uh a long time and so they they charge um they hold their charge well and so you know uh, i just think so far uh this has just been a great flashlight it's been my favorite flashlight and uh now uh if you're looking for the biggest, baddest flashlight, uh, Nebo Tools makes one. Uh, it's called the Redline 6K, and that thing puts out 6,000 lumens. So, you know, check out their their Nebo Tools website. I'll put a link in the description for you. But, you know, if you're looking for the baddest of the bad, uh, 6,000 lumens is unheard of. Uh, this was actually their their biggest and strongest or their strongest flashlight until they come out with a 6k uh, here recently but uh i'm gonna try to get that one and do a review on it as well so make sure you uh subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you're when i get to review that product you'll you'll see it come out but uh i'm gonna run you through and take you out outside and just run you through all the different modes on this flashlight because I promise once uh once you see this thing in use you're gonna you're gonna be impressed. Alright guys, you can see we're out here in my backyard and it is pitch pitch black. Um to give you an idea um just how dark it is, uh the only thing that you can see, well, I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see the, the sky over there and there's just a little bit of color in the sky. But uh, anyways, it, it's pitch black. And so I just wanted to show you what 3,200 lumens looks like. And keep in mind, it'll run for two hours. Look at that. Look at that. 
There's a, there was a tree right there. There's a couple trees right there. You didn't even see them. Look at this. That's unheard of how bright this thing is. I mean, it lights up the whole backyard. And it's just, it's, shock, it's shocking to, to see just how bright it is. <laughs> I mean, gosh, you could go coon hunting with this thing. And uh, so anyways, uh, that's with, um, with it on high. Now I'll go ahead and show you uh, with the low setting or I'm sorry, the medium setting. All right, guys, there's the, the high, and here's medium. Medium's not that bright. Um, it's only like uh, 259 lumens or something like that. Let me double check. All right, guys, I'm getting old. I meant to say 329 lumens. And, uh, you know, that's still pretty bright. Uh, you, can, you can definitely uh, see. Uh, you know, you're not going to shine to the tops of those trees with it, but you know right here on the ground You can see that it it lights it up pretty well But uh, that that uh setting on high just turns day. I'm not into day. So anyways All right now I'm fixing to switch it to the low power which is 32 lumens and You can see this is just for you know, um, I'm sorry. I accidentally turned it off there it is. That's a uh, low power. So you can see, you know, it's not super bright, but you know, this would be a great flashlight to have in your vehicle. If you were changing a tire or working up close, you can see that it still puts out a lot of light. And you know, and I'm not trying to adjust it out or anything or zoom. And so, you know, you can see up close, you know, it puts it puts out quite a bit of light and you can see all the way down the fence line with it. Now I'm gonna run back through and I'm gonna show you that fence line in high. <laughs> now the 3200 uh, lumens, uh, they say that's equivalent to twice as bright as most cars headlights on high beams. So 3200 lumens is a lot. I mean, this thing looks like a semi coming at you. And uh, it also has another feature that, um, like I said, it has that strobe feature. And the way that you activate that is you just uh, hit the light really quick. And that strobe feature comes on and it's a 3200 lumens of strobe and it's a variable strobe. So as soon as you hit that button, you're going to you're gonna get 3,200 lumens of light right in your face. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn that off because I know it's annoying to you guys watching at home. But uh, I'm gonna run you in and uh, show you some of the different buttons and how to get those different modes on. I know I didn't cover that just then, but I'm gonna show you when we go inside. So stay tuned. All right, guys, um, you have uh, a button right here uh, to turn it on and off and change the different modes and so when you hit it one time that puts it at 3200 lumens you can see it's super bright then you hit it again you just hit the button one more time and well i waited too long but you put it on uh high hit the button again and well gosh i, I did it too fast sorry trying to film and do this all at one time but you just hit the button for again and it switches it from high to medium and then you hit it again and then it's at, at low I guess I'm getting in too big of a hurry but there's there's low you can see that it's 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 pretty bright but uh, anyways guys uh, that's my fault trying to trying to film uh, one thing that uh, I really like about this flashlight and I just think that it's so cool is it has the button lights up green and uh, it's really bright let me turn the lights off so you can get a better look at it all right now you can really see it but the the flashlight button lights up really gr bright green and I just think it looks cool so anyways um, whenever you you're charging the flashlight this turns to red and I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. All right, now I'm gonna run through all three uh, modes. Here's the bright, there's the medium, there's the low, and then if you wanted to 
to turn it to the strobe, what you do is just hit the button really fast twice and then it, it jumps to the strobe mode. So anyways, it's really simple to, uh, to understand, but it's, you know, it's a little aggravating when you're trying to film with one hand and, uh, and operate the flashlight with the other. Another feature that I'll go ahead and show you is let's say, uh, you, when you hit the button once real fast, it, it turns on to high, but if you, um, wait and just hold the button in, for, for just a, a minute or two, it turns on to low. It don't go uh, all the way up to high like normal. So you can see that it's just on low. Now, if I take and turn it off and then hit that button, it jumps right into high. But like I said, you can, you can turn the flashlight off and, and just hold that button in and it starts at low. So, you know, if you don't want it, the whole world knowing that you've, uh, you just turn the flashlight on and you don't want it to the uh, 3200 lumen setting. Just like I said, just hold the button in and it, it starts at it low. All right, guys, as I said a few minutes ago, uh, when you get the flashlight, it'll come with a USB to a micro USB cable. And uh, I have a uh, just a portable power uh, bank set up right here to show you uh, what this uh, flashlight looks like when it charges. And so I'm going to turn it on and then uh, you'll be able to see this uh, light here on the front glow to red. So that indicates that it's charging. And so you can see it right there. And once it gets fully charged, that light will go from red to, to green. Now, if you're using the flashlight as a power bank to try to charge your phone, um, if the little light right here is red, then that means that, that it's less than 25% uh, of the battery that's in the flashlight is charged up. And so um, you're not going to get a whole lot of power um, to charge a phone or whatever device you choose to charge. To try to charge with it because it's got less than 25 percent battery life but if the little light here is green then that means that it has 25 percent or more uh, left in the batteries so you should have no problems charging your cell phone and like i like i said um a while ago um I had this thing plugged up to my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it seemed to charge it pretty quick. Now I'm not going to get on here and say, oh, it'll charge your phone in this amount of time because all phones have different size batteries and all the batteries are in different conditions. Some of them might be new, some of them might be old. And so each phone is going to charge in a different amount of time. And so, you know, it wouldn't be fair for me to get on here and say, you know, hey, this phone will charge in two hours. Well, you know, that's not necessarily true. So anyways, uh, this is a, a great flashlight. Uh, it is my favorite flashlight that I've ever tested. And I'm really excited to, uh, to use it more. And uh, I think it's going to be a great flashlight to keep in my truck. Because uh, in my console, it has a nice uh, place in there to... Uh, plug it up in my my console and so uh, if it's plugged up in the console you'll always have it charged and uh, I'll take you out there and show you all right guys I have a 2017 GMC Sierra and uh, this thing has uh, charging ports all over it uh, there's a couple right here let me turn the flashlight on where you can see but uh, there's a couple of ports right in there and then when you lift the console here, there's a, there's a cigarette lighter port there, but then there's also uh, some USB ports right there. So you can, what I was gonna do is just keep the flashlight down here in my console with it plugged into the USB port right in there. And that way I always have a charged up flashlight in case I have a flat tire or, or car trouble or whatever. Uh, I don't have to go, uh, you know, hunting for a flashlight that works, that's charged up. You know, I already have one right here and ready. So, anyways. I gotta say, uh, I'm really impressed with the Redline Blast. And uh, it's definitely my, my favorite. Uh, like I said, I, I want to try that uh, Redline 6000 out and, uh, and uh, do a review on it. 
But uh, anyways, I wanted to just do a quick rundown <clears throat> on another light that I reviewed about a little over a month ago. And this is the Nebo Glow. And what it is, it's just a light that fits on a tumbler. And I know what you guys are thinking, yeah, this is a little corny, but I swear I have used this thing every day. I, when I first seen it, I didn't realize just how useful this thing is, but I, I swear to you, I've used this thing every single day. I, I drink out of it all day long and, you know, I keep it by my bed at night. You know, if I got to get up to go take a leak or whatever, then uh, you don't have to turn on all the lights in the house you can just uh hit the button right here on your cup and you know you've got plenty enough room to light up to see the floor and uh you know it also has another feature where it turns on a lantern mode so if you take this thing camping uh it puts out a, enough light to, to see all the way around you then you can take it and uh hit both of them and turn both lights on so anyways check out my video on this i'll try to link it to this video so it'll pop up at the end uh when this video is over so make sure you watch it because that's a cool product and uh right now they have them uh marked down to like 20 dollars for uh a stainless steel cup not this one but a 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler and the glow light i think it's 20 dollars right now so check that out and uh anyways guys i appreciate you watching uh i promise uh you will not be disappointed in the redline blast rc by nebo tools and like i said i'll put a link in the description i appreciate you watching please like and subscribe and uh if you would hit that notification bell so it keeps you updated on all my new videos and you get an alert whenever a new video comes out and like i said I am going to review the, the big daddy to this one, the 6K. So uh, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.